Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here, and Sarah Tyndall. And today um, we are, puppies. we are oh yeah, a whole bunch of Tyndall puppies. Today we are making these stuff. Check this out. And I drill. Oh my God. And Sarah cuts. And the wheel goes round and round. Check these low profile things out. How badass is that? Awesome, right? Yeah. Just wait. We're heading to the reptile room here in a minute and setting up everything. And we are going to feed some leopard geckos. And we are going to feed some ball python. Stay tuned, people! Yep. Okay, people, we are in the reptile room. And we just got done with all of our awesome containers. Sarah did such a great job of cleaning all those holes. Yay! And we got this scale here, so we're going to document for you guys. And we also have an unbagging. We're going to document how the progress of the leopard geckos are. See how shitty that is in there? Yep, Edward Tindall's not afraid to show shit because they're shitting every day like crazy. Because I'm feeding them. The more they eat, the more they shit. We're going to pick up some weight on these guys. So, um, are we going to, we're going to do the transfer. We will get this sexy little girl. We will turn this scale on. It's already set to grams. We will set her on the gram scale. She is exactly 30 grams. Not very good. A little bit lethargic. Um, but she will be fine. We're going to put her in here. You're doing the unbagging without me doing this? Okay. I just got it out. Okay, sir, you already missed how the package was packed, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry Here. about it. We're moving on. Moving along. Okay. We've got a heat pad and everything else. I'm trying to kill out the people who uh, sent this for giving us a good job. NAS Inc. Bestbait.com. Yep. Bestbait.com. These are our. Our. These are our. Our. Um, these things look so delicious, people. I would so eat the hell out of these. Mmm, they smell like some kind of awesome fruit. But, uh, hopefully the, the, uh, leopard geckos will not only, uh, get that. I bet these are human edible. All those bugs are. Ugh. I almost feel bad that I have to give her, them to her. They're like fruity pebbles or something. Let's see what she does. How she, like, gets some close up. We're going to give them to her. I tried two of them. So yes, um, watch that 30 gram girl for a minute. See how she likes that. I'm going to give her a little bit of shade. Well, she's not interested in food. It is kind of bright in here. Um, if she does get hungry for them she can get them I guess I was told they really like these and they can't resist them because of the color and the smell how'd you take the tongs and I'm not gonna force them to her I'm just gonna let her see I will put a lid on here and move on to the next one we uh, just got these new containers because we got the new rack and it's really awesome if you look down here at the low profile this will hold three rows of these small three like too high too high too high making 50 what 54 54 i believe can fit on here and make one hell of a baby rack and these are pretty cheap they're about two dollar a piece or three somewhere there. i don't know exactly what it was but uh we can move her along things are going to go so much better so much more smoother with that. I'm just gonna have to water them, but I will do that off cam. 
when I'm done. So I can move this video along a little bit faster, people. These things come packaged in brand, by the way. And they got like a spider web. Check this out. Check out the spider web. There was a hundred of them here for 20 bucks. It's ridiculous, but for a worm. But they are good quality worms, I have to say. And they were the cheapest that I've seen them. And the smell is just unbelievable. I'm, I'm literally drooling here, people. I might order some of them just so I can have me a fancy meal. Eat the brand and everything. I highly recommend these yeah. to anyone. You want to eat a rat in the last video. Alive, so I don't want to hear it. And I was joking with our fans. I'm not joking. Edward Tindall is a top of the food chain. Eat it all. Eat it all. Okay. And this girl is coming in here. Are you going to weigh her? Oh, yes. That would be a good idea. Come on, darling. I gotta get the scale back on. Get up here close so people can see. It's at zero grams. Put her on the scale. This girl is 33 grams. You hold it up a little bit like higher, like right here. They can see it perfect. 33 grams for that beautiful blazing blizzard. Now I'm gonna offer her some of these. Awesome little well, things. Get up close in case you see this. You're gonna get. I don't want them to miss if they do decide to eat. Oh, she sees it. I'm going to put four in there with her. Oh, she sees it. She sees it. Are you getting close? If she is. Or is she ain't? Hmm. She's like, I don't know what this red thing is. It's probably good. I might try it. I just don't know. I hope she batted her eyes away. So, thank you there. These containers are nice. The rack is nice. Everything is about as high as quality as you can possibly hope for, people. So, we will move along. And I will be doing future updates on the leopard geckos and on the breeding. And you see how you can put this. You can put them like this. You can put two of these big uh, 28 quarts. Uh, whatever. The whole combination. This is a combination rack until I get more racks for more um, geckos. Leopard. And this gram scale is badass, by the way. And three. Okay. This is our... Raptor, and he is a set of zero grams. He is easy, easy. He is 26 grams. Can I see? 26 grams for the Raptor. Check him out. He is one cool looking dude. And he's fairly healthy. His tail's not as fat as I'd like it to be. But hopefully, we're going to get a kill on cam for you guys. Let me see. Boom. He might bust it. Just don't know. Butterworms, people. Four. I'm going to put four of them in there for him. Hold it on there for a minute. Oh, um, did I have any more of those containers? This one here? Here's one of the older ones. <clears throat> oh, you're taking too long, buddy. Maybe they'll eat. When the lights go out, you never know. I'll bring these back out and put the waters and everything, but I have to go wash and everything. And I'm not going to bore y'all with all of that <coughs> stuff. <coughs> okay. Let's see. Get our other one. Um. There's a... Here is the really skinny one. I don't know why she went off food for so long. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta give her get her weight. Especially a lot more than that. Got a comment. She's like a rescue. She's almost become like a rescue. She has 25 grams. She just stopped eating for some reason. I'm gonna give you all a close up so you can see what has happened. And you can see the, her hip bones in here. I don't understand what exactly has went wrong, so I'm trying different food stuffs now. Um, and you can also sh see a slight bit of shoulder blade there. So she's going to get these butter worms, and we also ordered some other worms and food stuffs that we will see. She likes. Hopefully, she likes this. 
Yeah, there's a butter worm there for her. The site that I got these from said they're absolutely irresistible. To them, uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe we're gonna get a kill. She's looking. If she starts eating these, she'll be in doing good. She was looking at millworms and roaches like this for a while, though. She just does not want to eat for whatever reason. I don't know. Shit happens sometimes. It's unexplainable, though. But I'm going to put her a couple of them in here. I'm putting three to four in each one. Just to see. It's going to go on. Try to hand it to her. Without putting as much stress on her as possible. Since she wants to... a bit sketchy she licked it a lick is a good start baby girl I mean if she does not eat these I could attempt to assist feed her to keep her from dying leopard geckos are extremely durable animals though um what do we have up here Lost ones right there oh we do have another empty one okay I've got just enough to cover the leopard geckos that we have Bless the babies. Um, this one up here is. Hold on. They wrecked their pin. In two days' time, I change their pin out every two days, and this is what each fact. Okay. This one is. Put them back in there. At zero grams. This one is. 112, 20, 20. I'm just kidding. That's my finger on there, people. That little guy ain't that heavy. <laughs> he is 19 grams. Check him out. He's not, uh, he's not really malnutritious or nothing. He's just a small guy that's growing easy, 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 easy. You're okay. You're okay, mate. You're okay. You're all right, mate. All right, we'll try this guy. Maybe he's he's active enough. He looks like he might actually eat something. We'll drop one in there like that. I'm gonna put four of these in there. Five. I'm gonna put five of them in there with his little ass because he can eat them. And then our last one, we'll try to find out for the treat. I'll offer these to them as a treat. And see, fill, fill one in for a minute so I can grab pineapple out. This is all about geckos. Oh, where's pineapple? Oh, here he is up here. Are all these full of geckos? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and this big one too. Six, yes, we're gonna get her too. We got two more geckos actually. The other one is in a, in a big thing. Here's pineapple, larger than life. Let's see what pineapple weighs, people. That's zero grams. And pineapple sits there like a perfect gent at 93 grams. There was a point that he was at 101 grams. But he's 93 grams now. He's fell off weight a little bit, but he still looks freaking humongous. Look at that tail. And this is what I hope to get the other ones like with their tails here shortly. Um, I will try to offer him. Anymore, 93. It's still 93 grams. So these ain't too much. Here's pineapple. Don't get me, buddy. Don't get in there, daddy. I'll offer it to him on the scale. See how he does. He is very calm and very loving and an awesome animal. One of my favorites, big male. He's not really getting it right now. Look at them calcium sacks under there. All right, he's not getting it now, but he's full on roaches. But I would drop a couple of them in here for him as a treat anyway. Give him just some mixed up food stuff. I like uh, keeping a good diet on them. Did that one eat any or no? No. Nope. He did not. 
Okay, let me get the girl. This thing makes things a lot more convenient. Here. Hold this. Don't stop filming. Wait a minute. Do not stop filming. I don't want you to grab that thing yet. Um, this is the last, but definitely not the least people. This is the one that just gave us the two eggs. The awesome at zero grams. Let's see, zero. And here she goes, completely on there. She has 47 grams after she just gave birth to two eggs. Her tail's hanging off. Her tail's hanging off, but it's still in the air, so as long as it's in there. Okay, it's uh, 46 grams, 47 grams. Okay, 47 grams. Her tail's still a little bit big, and it's going to be bigger. Um, she very well might eat one of these things. I'll have to see here. Um, let's see if she sees it. Hey, girl. What did he got for you? Look what daddy got for you. You like that kind of stuff? Do you like that kind of stuff? Do you? Hey, you want that? You want that? You don't want that? Hmm. That kind of stuff is good for you. It smells good. Comes from chili. Tastes like fruity pebbles. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Well, she's interested in looking at her environment. Anyway. Anywho. Y'all, uh, let me know what you think about the um, upgrade on the room and everything um you can step out to the door for a minute if you will i am going to give them a way in also oh. of the baby rattle to see how much grams he weighs now Wait, leave that right there I'll leave that right there for me all right i got her a few worms in here people Let's see how that goes um Fine. This hook is broken like hell. I had a hook and now it's hot glued and all kinds of shit together. But it still works and it's whatever works, right guys? Here is the baby rattle. After having to uh well that for some reason is minus one gram. Um I gotta restart it. When Sarah moved it, she pushed something and it messed it up. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's see what this little guy weighs. Let's see what he looks like. Um, he is was very lethargic as well. Y'all can see here. If he'll be still for a second for us. 37 grams, people. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But 37 grams. This is an awesome little guy. Check him out. Right about now, the funk so brother. 37 grams. I hope to uh, put a lot of weight on this one soon. <laughs> That's a cute little thing, I tell you. Little death noodle. As Brian Barchek likes to call him. Whoa. Don't go like that. Come on, baby. Yeah, y'all can see where the lump is. Where it did eat, and it drunk quite a bit of water, so uh, that's also a good thing. Anytime, yeah, it was hard to film and keep them in there. Easy, easy, easy. Stay in there, stay in there. Oh, that blows sometimes to keep them in there when you're one handed. Check it out. That's awesome. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, people. Peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Oh, yeah, I was going to also, before we come to a close, um, sweetheart. And try sweetheart. Hold this camera. I can't film and do everything. I mean, I can do everything. I've taught sweetheart how to eat cream pies. Y'all that have seen uh, the hot dog eating dash, the corn snake that ate hot dogs, now, sweetheart, eats cream pies. Y'all believe that shit? Unbelievable. Y'all probably thinking, well, my, uh, my 
ball python don't eat cream pies? Mine didn't neither for two months. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Check out them cream pies. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. New, uh, anything's going on, people. So, wait. Let's see if Sweetheart likes any food. I like offering my ball pythons this time of year as much as the females will possibly eat to get them some uh, stuff going on. She might be interested. She might. She's been off food for a while. I'd have to check her record to make sure exactly how long, but or she just gonna snuggle up with it or what? There you go. Well, I'm not going to bore y'all with the ball python feeding video. I'm just going to go through all these racks one at a time and sit here and looking at admire the sheer beauty I think of everything she's going that nature, to snuggle with it. Everything that nature has to offer. And uh, watch your hand because she's in feed mode. She'll strike if she or she could. That's sweetheart, baby. Yeah, Scar's a sweetheart too, baby. I know you don't want me to say it in every video, but that's what gave me a Frankenbird. <laughs> Sir, I don't like my Frankenbird. Boo freaking you. Okay, she is not very hungry, I guess. So, we will. Put it right in front of put her. Put it back. And get her one with a different colored head. She might be a little bit more interested in. Take that out. Let go of me so she don't grab me. Nope, she's just not showing no sign of hunger. So, and she's healthy and round. So she should be fine. Maybe it's just the time of year or whatever. But, uh, I'm going to go through all these things, people. I'm going to try to keep continue bringing y'all daily vlogs or whatever you want to call them that I'm doing. Um, we got a badass unboxing coming soon. Y'all won't want to miss. Y'all will not want to miss. Oh, yeah, the cotton. Um, we'll give him a little cream pie. Yep, we have our cotton mouth, and I'm now producing all mohawk badass blue uh, mice. Freaking awesome! Check him out. He's in there in his peanut butter jar. He loves it. Absolutely loves it. So I will hold to the side, sling that mouse in there. He'll see it and get it. So he probably won't be able to see it, but that's a nice setup for him. Absolutely lovely. Isn't he lovely? All right, we're out, people. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I already told you all that. Watch some of my older videos that you have not watched. And I know all of you haven't because some of them only have 10 to 100 views out of 690 something, 690 something videos. If she don't eat it, she'll uh, sleep with it for a night or two. It'll cuddle up to her and then she'll get it when she's ready. Look at that beautiful fat tail. She's so healthy. Unbelievable. Alright. I guess that's what I'm going to end this video with. Even after it was past the final ending. This is your final, final ending. It is the end, the end. Oh, here's Mean Bitch. Fuck yes. Y'all just got to see Mean Bitch bust a cap and a nine at the same time I say that it ain't mine. What's my name? Big Edward and y'all. Zena and Drew. What about Zena and Drew? They like Mean Bitch? They like all yeah, this, this one's been off of, of food for how long? I just rammed and got re excited about what's going on here. Hold on a minute. Let's see how long Mean Bitch has been off food. She's right back on food now. She's been off food since 10-18 of 2016. 
And it and is 2-3. She just got struck. Oh shit, I missed the strike, sorry. Look at this, uh. Are y'all watching, Peter? Y'all watching this shit, you're missing it. Aw, dot rot. He won't suffer long, people. And then he'll be going in that end and coming out that end. And that is the end. Burn, burn. Burn, burn. Burn, All the balls are back on food again, people. That is a blessing. I am truly blessed. All right, we are out of here for real. I know y'all want me to keep coming back, but gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go to bed. Yep. Good night. Good night. Good night, cruel world.